Hello everyone. I'm just going to upload a quick video on setting up a static IP address in Linux. I'm going to apologize in advance because the sound and video may not be synced once it's done recording. Just going to have to see. All right. First, we want to learn a little bit about our network information. So, if config All right. Now, a couple things we want to pay attention to here. One is our net address. The other one is our net mask. All right. Want to pay attention to these, uh, especially this one. Now, currently, my router is handing out addresses on DHCP. Um, in order to figure that out, you'll need to look at your router's configuration page and likely your instructions to see what is what it is handing out in DHCP. There's no way I can tell you without going in, or at least for all models. I could tell you for a Cisco or a Linksys router, but anyway, now that we have that information, sudo get it or whatever other program you use, etc. Network interfaces. It would normally ask for your uh, root password here, but I typed it in a little bit ago, so it's not going to ask. All right. Now, I mainly use the wireless adapter. I'm currently using my laptop, so it doesn't include this information. So I have to wonder why. All right. So now we want to type in auto ETH1, assuming that is the card you're going to be using. Interface ETH1 INET static. All right. And then the address you want to use for your network. 192.168.1. Let's say 64. Then your net mask. 255.255.255.0. All right, and then your gateway. Now, this you can get just by looking at your current IP address. It's one. 92.168.1.1, assuming you have the same class of IP addresses as I'm currently running. If you haven't adjusted your uh, IP address in your router, then likely it's going to be set to this, or maybe 192.168.0.1. Under normal circumstances, I would hit save and quit. However, I don't want to ruin my uh, current network connection, so I'm just going to close this. All right. And then what you would want to do is restart networking. So, sudo, etc. init.d, network, restart. Assuming all goes well, you will won't see much of anything except another prompt after you type this in. If you get a rather verbose message, it likely means that something went wrong. All right, and I'm not going to type this in because, once again, I'm not changing my network information. Hopefully that helps everyone out there. And thanks for watching.